of, of Caden in the second half, but overall, it seemed like he played a great first half. Do you think that's overblown, and, and how do you feel about him going into this game? Yeah, I feel great about Caden. I think he's done a, a good job all year. He's, he's uh, done the most important things we asked a quarterback to do. We've won games. A uh, big part of the reason, you know, is because of him. He, uh, we haven't turned the ball over. Uh, he's completed passes. Uh, when, when we've thrown the ball, he's very efficient. Um, he's avoided sacks, you know, no sacks. I mean, all those things that uh, he's done, I think it's uh, pretty impressive. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're thrilled with uh, where he is. We want to keep getting better, obviously. You know, everything we're doing on offense as a team is a, is a work in progress, and uh, we're just going to keep getting better and keep on going. But we're really happy with, uh, with, with where he's at and how he's played. Evaluating the quarterback game by game, how high is turnovers on that on that checklist? Yeah, it's, it's a big one. Uh, it's really hard to win, uh, especially when you get into conference play. You know, when the, when the games are going to be more competitive, if you turn the ball over, um, and uh, yeah, that, that's that's really important. Uh, you know, the ball handling in the run game, obviously, the passing, the passing, avoiding interceptions, um, especially against the team we're about to play. You know, they're they're a really good defense. Um, obviously, we don't want to give their offense a short field. Uh, we want to make them go the long, hard way, and that's going to be critical in this game. Can you watch the, the film from um, the last few games? Have there been opportunities for Cade to go downfield and hasn't in order to avoid interceptions, or has he made the right decisions and read so far from what you've seen? Yeah, I, I think he's made uh, great decisions. I think we pushed the ball down the field pretty well. I think he's averaging like 10 yards an attempt, uh, which is pretty good when you look at the plays individually. Um, you know, we've had some big, some big passes. We've thrown the ball down the field. I think we've done that, done that well. Um, yeah, certainly. Again, work in progress. We, we want, we want to keep adding that stuff to the offense. Uh, keep getting better at it. But yeah, I think, I think we've done a fairly good job of that. Um, considering the style of play, is there pressure on the offense to kind of get out front early and then also, like you said, not turn it over? Uh, the style, our style of yeah, play? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Where it's, you know, it's, it's predicated on running the ball and kind of, you know, doing Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we're, we're interested in scoring uh, every time we have the football. Um, it's not, not about how fast we do it. You know, it's about, um, you know, if there's eight possessions and we, and, we, and we score, you know, six times, it's going to be a great game. Uh, you know, obviously, if, if we go fast and there's 16 possessions and we only score six times, it's not as good. So, uh, you know, I think it's been an advantage for us. You look at like the first drive of the game last week, when you have that eight-minute drive uh, against the defense, uh, that can be a backbreaker for the defense. I know that uh, defensive coaches don't like that very much. Defensive players don't like that very much. Defense gets tired, wear them down. Uh, so we're just looking to sustain drives and and score. And I don't think it's any any more of an emphasis. Uh, in this game than any other. When, when you are emphasizing uh, turning the ball <coughs> over, I mean, how do you balance that, especially when you're talking to Kate, with you know, allowing him to kind of use his natural instincts and maybe not curtail that aspect of his game? Yeah, so uh, I think that's a great question. We're, we're really process focused. You look at every play. Okay, uh, you know, what's the read? What's the progression? Should you take the right footwork? And just allowing uh, the play to take care of itself in terms of him doing his job, going through progressions and making good decisions. We look at each play uh, individually in that way and don't really, the coaching point isn't like, hey, don't don't throw an interception, you know? I mean, certainly we don't want to do that, but if he if he does his job, if he, if he makes the right reads, uh, it should all take care of itself. All right here, Ryan. Matt, when you're evaluating quarterback recruits, what are the top several few things that you're, that you're looking for? Uh, yeah, so, um, accuracy, uh, timing, decision making are all really important in, in quarterback play. I think uh, Kate is a good example of that. Those are three things that he does really well. Uh, and then obviously, um, you know, you, have, you also have to factor in the, the natural physical component with uh, mobility and, and arm strength, uh, right? But if you don't have accuracy, timing, decision making, it's really hard to play the position. And those are kind of the five, the five things I would say that are, uh, that are important. You know, all our guys have all five of those things, so uh, we feel really good about the room and, and the guys we have here. And of course, you know, recruiting is a part of it too. And we're looking always.